Hello everyone, welcome to Geeker Mag. So today's video is about fixing issues that started appearing after updating to Windows 11 2 for H2. Whether it's game crashing issue, boot loop issue, BSOD, slow file explorer and even more about which I'm not aware. Microsoft usually listens to affected users' feedback and try to fix them as soon as possible. But Windows 11 2 for H2 is something which is driving users crazy, it is a lots of bugs and issues. And I hope that Microsoft will soon mitigate those issues. Even Microsoft has stopped pushing the Windows 11 2 for H2 update due to this concern which is a good move. In the meantime, those users who have already upgraded to Windows 11 2 for H2 and facing issues, the best call is to roll back to earlier version that is Windows 11 2 3 H2 from recovery settings. But again this solution has limitation as this option is available only for 10 days after upgrading to Windows 11 2 for H2. After that windows.all file is deleted and as a result it's not possible to go back to earlier version. So those users who have recently upgraded to Windows 11 2 for H2 and facing issues then use the recovery option to roll back. And for users if go back option is greyed out, the only option left is to download Windows 11 2 3 H2 ISO and perform clean installation. I will add the video link in the description for steps. But remember doing this will delete all the data available in C drive or Windows installation drive. So you need to make backup of the content. I know affected users will not be happy with this solution. So if you don't want to perform this, then there is another thing you can do. That is removing the problematic update after which you started facing the issue. As per the reports, majority of the users started facing issue after installing Windows 11 KB50 48667 update, especially the game crashing issue. So I suggest users to remove it manually by following these steps. In the settings, switch to Windows Update, Update History, scroll down to Uninstall Updates option. Here locate the same update and click on the uninstall button next to it twice. The process will take 5 to 10 minutes. Once done, restart your computer and this should fix the issue. On the other hand, if this update is not available in the update history, then look for other update that you have installed recently and uninstall using the same steps. I would like to hear from you after installing what update you started facing the issue. Apart from this, I suggest all users to upgrade only to Windows 11 2 for H2 if your device meets minimum requirement to install the same update. Don't use workarounds to install it forcefully as due to this you will definitely face compatibility issues later. Whenever I get more update on this issue, I will keep you in the loop. So that's all for this video and if you find this video useful in any way, please like this video and subscribe the channel as this encourages me in creating more similar videos. Thanks for watching.